Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bing Tao Zhen. Today, let me show you a new published meta-analysis about the vaporoid in schizophrenia. Please imagine, if there is not any evidence to prove what you do every day, what will you do? Will you change your practice? Or will you try to find out another evidence to prove your practice? Today, we had a drug called Barpret. We prescribe this drug in schizophrenic patients every day and in clinical practice, we find it works. It could relieve patients' psychotic symptoms. However, there is no any evidence to prove its rule, neither in meta nor in clinical guideline. So, there is a huge gap between the ideal world and the real world. <clears throat> Fortunately, there are some new evidences published about the rule of vaporate in schizophrenia. Based on these new evidences, we can across from the ideal world to real world. Today, we published a new meta-analysis about the buffered augmentation therapy in patients with schizophrenia. In previous 12 studies, we can find some of them provide evidences about the rule of buffered augmentation in schizophrenia. However, the other 10 did not. The other 10 studies suggest the treatment effect of vaporoid augmentation therapy did not work. Did not work. So here is the gap. Fortunately, based on the total 12 studies, we can find the poor effect size lies between 0 and 1. So it means the vaporoid augmentation therapy in schizophrenia could significantly improve patients' psychotic symptoms. Besides, when the treatment duration is less than four weeks, the treatment effect remains significantly. In addition, about the drop hour rate and the safety, patients with vaporate is similar with those without vaporate. So the conclusion of this paper Vaporate augmentation could provide better response in short duration. Now we had some evidences, but we need a real case to help us across from the ideal world to evidence and finally to real case. Today we had a 50 years old male with diagnosis of refractory schizophrenia in previous drug history. He had received all of these drugs. However, the response is poor. Today, we prescribe only 13 mg haloperidol and 700 mg vaporate. His psychotic symptom improved. The response is good. His BPR score before the vaporate use is 62. After the buffer augmentation, his BPR score declines to 29, so the response is good. How about the safety? Before the buffer, the dyslipidemia, the di he had severe dyslipidemia. After the buffer augmentation, his dyslipidemia improved, and his hepatic enzyme did not change. So, there seems to be no harm in these patients. Let's make a short conclusion of this talk. The vaporate could relieve patients' psychotic symptoms, especially good in short duration, about the safety and the dropout rate. It is similar with those without vaporate use. I'm Min Tao Zhen. If you have any question, please contact me in this email. I am welcome to discuss with you about any question. Thank you very much.